All right. Good evening and welcome to the Yukon City Council Municipal Authority meeting. It's December 1st, 2020. Whoa, we have a house full tonight, don't we? Everybody quit breathing. Um, it's 7 p.m. We're in the council chambers at 12 South 5th Street. Our invocation will be, no one has told me different, will be, oh, okay, Pastor Chad Penner, and then we'll have the flag salute. If you'd like to come forward, sir. Lord, in uncertain times, we give thanks for the certainty of who you are. Your word tells us you are unchanging in your character yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Today, I depend on that promise in ways unlike the past. I pray your spirit would rest on those asked by us as citizens to uphold the seats on the opposite side of this desk. They carry a burden we do not fully understand. May they do so with humbleness for all that is broken and weary in our community. I pray they rest on your divine knowledge so they would lead us into what is right and good for every citizen and visitor to our city. I pray for protection for them and their families as they lead in times that are impossible to make everyone happy. In fact, are guaranteed to upset many. May they lead from wisdom more than emotion, but may their love for Yukon cause them to lead with a full heart. May we as citizens care more for others than for ourselves. May we do what is necessary to protect and care, even if it saddles our own preferences for a time. May you as Yahweh Raphaim, the God who heals, strengthen the hands of our doctors, nurses, and other emergency personnel who are on the front lines of this health pandemic that death may be no more. Calm the nerves of the fragile, give rest to the worn, and guidance to decisions that will lead us into our future, I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Right. Could we have roll call, please? Selby? Here. Wooten? Here. Yonda? Here. Caccini? Here. Gilliland? Here. All right. Presentations and proclamations. Councilman uh, Caccini asked me if I would um, speak to someone and make a proclamation. And I said, you know, Councilman Caccini, you're the one that was involved. And I think it'd be a great honor for you to be the one that makes this presentation. So I fully support you. Thank you, Madam Mayor and uh, City Councilman. At this time, I'd like to think about the people that have served overseas. This is Christmas time. A lot of veterans aren't going to be able to be with their families. I've spent uh, 40 years in uniform, and many of those holidays, I was overseas. And so when I come across people helping veterans, I really feel good about it. Uh, I've got two individuals that I'd like to bring up at this time. Jenny? Mm -hmm. Katie, come on up, please. Please, mm -hmm. come up. Uh, these this two is, ladies... This is what uh, I didn't want to do. I knew you'd be upset. <laughs> these two ladies uh, have done a lot for helping veterans. They're on my staff at the Veterans Museum. They've helped veterans not just at the museum, but everywhere they go. And we recently had a gala, and I'm telling you, these two ladies were the backbone. I was faltering at one time because I was close to messing up the CDC and the mayor's rules. I had eight people per table when I was supposed to have four. So these ladies got me squared away and kept me out of jail. And I know John was right there with the handcuffs, so he was ready to get me. So I want to thank these two ladies. And I've got something here for you. You could tell by their hesitation to come forward that they're very humble servants and that we do appreciate all that you did for the veterans um, uh, party that they had. So thank you so very, very much. 
All right. Do we uh -huh. do we have any visitors? I have no request, Madam Mayor. All right. Is there anyone who would like to speak tonight? Seeing none, then we will recess as the Yukon City Council and reconvene as Yukon Municipal Authority. Item 1A, YMA Consent Docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the Yukon Municipal Authority, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all authority members, that item will be heard in regular order. The City Manager recommends a motion to approve A, the minutes of the regular meeting of November 17, 2020, and B, payment of material claims in the amount of $307,000 $83.49. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote. Kachini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Item 2A. Consider approving the City of Yukon Sports Park Land Lease Bid Specifications and authorizing the purchasing agent to advertise for bids for the lease of the sports park land. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, can we, I'm really curious what, until we got our agenda and explanations, I didn't um, have any idea that this was something that was being considered. Can we get kind of an explanation of where this comes from, what brought this about? Okay, Councilman. Uh, right now we have an individual that basically uh, cuts and bells the grass that's on the property. Right. We actually had somebody come to us and ask about a lease and actually paying us something for it as well as putting improvements on the property. And we felt like right now is a good opportunity to do that because anything we do with the park would be down the road a ways. So we're at least three to five years down the road of doing something with it, maybe a little bit longer. So we felt like if we could get a little return on our investment, as well as not having to worry about mowing it or keeping it up, that we would go out and see if there is interest in renting it for pasture land. We are going to keep the, the eastern portion, 650 foot along Frisco that abuts for future development in case there's something that comes along that we can work with Oklahoma City to be able to develop that strip. So we are keeping that eastern portion open and not be fenced at all. So we'd still have that to maintain and keep up. So the current <coughs> bid would be for a three year lease? It's a three year with a renewal is what we're proposing. And that would require a council vote? The council would have to do that. The, the authority would have to do that. Uh, like I said, you know, with the three years, we'll know where we're at in the next couple of years and where we're going to head with it, or maybe within the next six years, we'll know. Uh, to do plans and stuff, we're still, you know, it take a year or so to do that. So we'd have enough lead time and maybe even have a clause in here that at any time we could cancel this contract if we're going to use the land for some purpose related to city use or what we see fit. Is that it? On the, as it's written now, is that 180 days that we would require? No well, that was one of the recommendations, but also at the same time, uh, that was uh, probably not long enough time for somebody to do that. You know, if they rent it for three years and put a fence in, they need to be able to get use of that fence. So that's something we'd look at as we go through and see what kind of interest we have. But that's what I was going to ask. What have we defined pasture? Uh, basically, we're not going to let them cultivate the land. If they need to build, uh, you know, water retention or something for watering or something, we'll work with the city engineer to do that. But we're not going to let them cultivate the land uh, as a pasture for wheat or some other thing. I, I'm not sure if you can if you can say it, but what would you anticipate would be a a ballpark on what we could recover and as far as the lease amount goes? Uh, not sure. That's why we're going to go out and see what kind of interest we have. You know, we'll find the interest in what uh, somebody may offer. At that time, we'd bring it back to the council, and if the council chooses to do so, then we can move forward with a contract. So doing this, just so we're clear, if we approve this, this is we're this. not buying ourselves to approve some bid. We could still reject any bid. You would reject any bid, and then, like I said, in the contract, we could put any clause that you'd want in that that we could work out with an individual if we do have the interest. So would they have to have their uh, plan all laid out when the contract's signed, or 
Uh, basically, we'd have that all worked out. We'd write that into the contract, uh, making sure that we address any issues that we may see going forward and any issues that the council may have or concerns. Mm -hmm. We'd make sure that contract would cover it best as we could. And then if they wanted to make changes throughout the, the course of the contract, then they'd have to come back to the city? That's correct. To get approval? Okay. Yes. This is just approval to get bids. This is just to see what kind of interest we have to see what's out there because like right now we have a kind of a handshake and an individual comes and keeps it mowed mm -hmm. down. Uh, so we were just thinking in case that individual right. couldn't, mm -hmm. then we would have to mow all that and it takes several days to do that. Sure. And what we're really worried about is the volunteer trees, the cottonwoods and stuff, because it seems like when we stop there for a while, they were growing pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? Okay. Seeing none, let's vote. Gilwin? Uh, yes. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. Item 3A, consider approving billboard sign lease bid specifications and authorizing the purchasing agent to advertise for bids for the sale of the current billboard lease. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Where's the uh, Where's the billboards at, uh, Mitch? Can you tell me which billboards we're talking about? I'm sorry to bring this up. Several years ago, the council uh, was looking at ways to advertise Yukon. This is located way out west of uh, Cimarron. Uh, we've got a parcel that's on both sides of I-40. This was basically for the eastbound. We bought two locations for billboards to be placed out there. And uh, for whatever reason, we didn't move forward with the billboards because of the cost, because we're over 370 some thousand for a double face digital billboard. Wow. And that doesn't include the electric getting to it. Yeah. But we bought two locations out there to advertise Yukon. The council several yeah. years ago did that. Well, good. And because of cost and stuff, it's been kind of cost prohibitive right now to be able to do something with that. So our thought was to see what kind of interest is out there and maybe sell these leases to somebody that can use them. So and this is the only two locations left in the city of Yukon that we can actually have billboards. All right. Because everything else is already spaced out and leased out or sold along the corridor of I-40. Well, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Any other question, uh, discussion? Okay. Seeing none, let's vote, please. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Item 4A, consider approving and accepting the following regarding the State Highway 4 roadway project for warranty deeds number one through six for a strip, piece, or parcel of land lying in the southeast quarter of section 17, township 12 north, range five west of the Indian Meridian, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as parcel number eight. Payments in the amount of $20,871 to Vicki Jo Horn Rawls, $3,912 to Bessie Holman, 1993 Living Trust, $1,305 to Stanley and Lisa Horn, $1,956 to Jerry G. Horn, $978 to Larry J. Morgan and Peggy J. Morgan Family Trust, and $978 to Sherry A. McKay. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote. Caccini? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Yonda? Yes. All right, we will now adjourn as YMA and reconvene as the Yukon City Council. Item one, consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda. Sorry, my mic seems to be going up. So the City Council, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all Council members, that item will be heard in regular order. The City Manager recommends a motion that will approve A, the minutes of the regular meeting of November 17, 2020, B, payment of material claims in the amount of $907,220.52, C, designating the items on the attached list from the technology department as surplus and authorizing their sale, donation, or trade. And D, setting the date for the next regular council meeting for December 15, 2020, 7 p.m. in the council chambers of the Centennial Building, 12 South 5th Street. Do I have a motion? Motion, accept. 
Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote. Yonda? Yes. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. All right. Do we have any reports of boards, commissions, or city officials? Yes, Madam Mayor. I'd like to report that our debris for the ice storm, the property that we have out on Frisco Road and uh, Route 66, will be open to the public. That is to our residents. Um, they have to take a bill out there, but it will be open until December the 15th. It will be closed after that date to the public. Thank you. And also that we will be hopefully finished with our second pass through by Friday. Yes, ma'am. If you weren't at the study session. We want to say thank you. All right. Item number three, consider approving budget amendments for fiscal year 2021. Do I have a motion? Motion to accept. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Selby? Yes. Item number four. Consider approving a revised amount not to exceed $700,000 for emergency storm debris removal services from the October 26, 2020 ice storm with Shawnee Mission Tree Service, Inc., DBA, Arbor Master Tree Service. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? How close are we getting to that number at this point? Right now we've got, um, I think it's around $480,000 to, to Arbor Masters, but we also have the tub grinding fee. Right. Okay. The city did feel when we were in the study session that that would be enough to finish us out. Okay, let's vote. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Item number five, consider approving the assumption by Packard EMS of Oklahoma, Inc. of the current ambulance service agreement with CLV Enterprises, Inc., DBA, Samaritan EMS. Packard EMS assumes the terms of the Samaritan EMS agreement. Do I have a motion? Motion accept. Second. Any discussion? Well, are we going to have somebody from Hafford say hello? Hello. All right. <laughs> well, I didn't get to meet you, so I guess I'll meet you afterwards. In our study session, uh, we discussed all of uh, yes. the, th the things, and so if you're interested in finding out more about them, please uh, go back and watch the study session. We found out a lot of good information. Thank you. I just would like to note that if, if we don't approve the assumption of the contract, we would have no... That is correct. Guaranteed uh, emergency service. And, and we wouldn't have any. Right. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so this is essential to our city. If we have to wait 20, 30, 45 minutes for an ambulance to come from Oklahoma City, that would be very devastating. Absolutely. Okay. Let's vote. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Item number six, consider approving an amendment to contract with Packard EMS of Oklahoma, Inc. of the current ambulance service agreement to provide a monthly stipend in the amount of $13,000. Do I have a motion? Motion accept. Second. Any discussion? I, I do have a couple questions. Is this that we didn't talk about during the study session? Um, is it, would, would this... 13,000, is that anything that could fall into the category? Well, first, I guess I would ask if our CARES money has been exhausted. And if not, is this expense something that could be covered by the CARES money? I think it's two separate things, isn't it? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, CARES takes care of the COVID stuff that happened to us. And well, we saw a decrease in the, in the number of people that were enrolled in the service the opt-in over the last year. So I didn't know right. if that might be something that it would be applicable. Well, I think that's in accounting, basically. I mean, it's for the CARES account, whatever, where the money went into and where the CARES account or the uh, money for the stipend or to, to them, we've already done the budget amendment for that. Okay. We've already approved that. Right. And I think we saw that we were already doing a stipend mm -hmm. 
previously when we had Samaritan. No, right. not when we had, not well, when we had Samaritan. in the beginning we did. Okay. Right. Along with the memberships, we, we pay them for those. Because Part of the membership. Mm -hmm. So what happens here if this gets, this park gets voted down, what happens next? If you do not approve this, then we will not be able to pay um, Pafford the, the $13,000. So there will be no allocation to them. Does that violate then our contract? Well, what we just did, what you just did in this, in the item before was to assume the terms, mm -hmm. which the terms from before, they did not have that right. in there. Mm -hmm. So, so the question is, would we still have service if we don't approve the 13,000 a month? Anything that's not. Hafford would have to answer that. Can, can Pafford answer that? Pafford standard right here cannot answer that. That would come from <coughs> that higher up. That would come from Jamie Yes. And this is not an unusual request. No. It's not unusual at all. And we cannot afford to lose our ambulance service. No, I, I, I agree. We would never get an ambulance out of Oklahoma City because they're not, we wouldn't be a priority. No. I agree. I'm, I'm just, how do we get to the 13,000? Like, why not 20,000 or why not 5,000? I mean, what was the deciding factor that says to, to have our service, it needs to be this amount? I think that is what Pafford asked for, that that's what they needed in order to stay in business to, to do business with us. That amount was negotiated by Jim and Pafford. Right. Okay. It wasn't a random number. That's no. what they came to the conclusion for. But we also see that if we go on later on in the agenda, that we could be getting some of that money back each month. Right. Any other discussion? Okay, let's vote. Caccini? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Selby? Yes. Okay, number seven. Consider entering into a project agreement between the Oklahoma Department of Transportation and the City of Yukon for a 10-foot wide trail on the east side of Garth Brooks Boulevard from Route 66 to Vandeman Avenue for a total project cost of $767,635, $515,960 was the federal share, $251,675 is the city share as budgeted in the fiscal year 2021 grant fund. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Well, I've got some. Okay. I have a question about this 10 foot wide. Why is it so wide? I, uh, I run with the uh, park district on their uh, 5Ks and I never get 10 feet wide. That's a recommendation by ODOT to have the 10 foot wide trail, which is why we get the federal grant for the money. Oh, okay. Do we already have the easements that'll be necessary for it? For yes, sir, we have all the easements and this is the payment to ODOT, and once that's done, then they will take it out to bid, and we hope that would go out in March. So Thank from you. the middle school to Vandement, there's already a, a very wide sidewalk there. This grant, uh, this trail will not take away that sidewalk. Uh, we decided that was sufficient since it was a fairly new sidewalk. Uh -huh. This uh, trail starts at the middle school and goes north all the way to Main Street on the east side of the road. Okay, so it starts on the south side of the middle school and then? Uh, yeah, kind of in the middle uh, where there's no sidewalk by the middle school. Okay. Cause yeah, so south side, yes, sir. Okay. So essentially it's going to be Yukon Avenue to? Yes, sir. Okay. Be a wonderful addition to our Garth Brooks Boulevard. Absolutely. Okay. Any other questions? Seeing none, thank you, Claudia. Okay. Let's vote, please. Yonda? Yes. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Item number eight, consider approving the Garth Brooks Boulevard and I-40 right turn lanes project at the cost of $322,694.92 to Brewer Construction, Oklahoma, using unit bid prices from the 2020 concrete and asphalt paving, drainage, water, and sewer project contract. 
Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Um, Mitch, you want to tell everybody a little bit about this? Okay, this is our second phase of our project on Garth Brooks trying to help move traffic. Uh, this will be coinciding with the other project as well. Uh, we are adding right-hand turn lanes off of Garth Brooks onto I-40. Uh, as you can see, the plans were in there, which gives us some stacking distance, which we can get that traffic moving a little bit faster to the east and to the west. Uh, we also took an alternate, which allows for a video camera which basically moves the traffic. It sees the traffic and moves it. The current uh, loops that are in the pavement are broken up. So we took the alternate, which gives us the number we've got. But like I said, this is the second phase of several phases that we're doing on Garth Brooks, and hopefully we'll get that traffic moving a lot better. Uh, we're thinking we're probably gonna start the second week of January, weather permitting on this. And like I said, they'll work with the other group that's doing the traffic singleization project. So this will be right in front of Brahms and Del Taco? Area. Yes, yes. It starts pretty close to Del Taco, the right-hand turn lane going to the east, and it's the same with Brahms. It's past Brahms a little bit, and it's there's part of a shoulder there already. They'll remark it and add to it that will go on to the east. You know how many, roughly how many cars will be able to? I uh, don't remember the stacking. Uh, it was done by the design engineer, the traffic engineer. Uh, I don't know the stacking, but it, as you can see, it's several hundred feet to both directions, so it would allow quite a bit of stacking. Very good. All right. Any other Thank questions you. for Rich? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Much Mark. needed. All right. Seeing no other questions, let's vote, please. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. All right. Item number nine, consider entering into a service agreement with IWORQ in the amount of $24,500 for a developmental service software as approved in the fiscal year 2021 technology capital improvement budget as recommended by the information technology director. Do I have a motion? Motion to accept. Approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote, please. Wooten? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Item number 10, consider approving change order for number three for the City of Yukon Emergency Operations Center at a cost of $2,321.64 for a sidewalk on the northwest corner of the police station as recommended by the city engineer. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Say none, let's vote please. Yonda? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Okay, at this time, item number 11, we will consider a motion to recess as Yukon City Council and convene into executive session for discussing the hiring of a city manager and a city attorney as provided for in 25 OS 2003, section 307B1. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. No discussion. Can we vote, please? Caccini? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Okay, we will now go into executive session. If you need your paper signed, please you can come up and do one of those for the kids. Also, we'll need uh, Ms. Shivers and Mr. Shivers to come with us, please.
wait just a moment. Where did all the people go? Item number 12, we will consider a motion to adjourn from executive session and reconvene as Yukon City Council. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. I would like now to read the minutes of the executive session. While in executive session, only the items on the agenda were discussed. No action was taken and no votes were cast. Is there any new business? None tonight, Madam Mayor. Okay, let's have our council discussion. Councilwoman Yonda, we'll start with you. Well, I just want to encourage everyone to shop local and uh, support our local businesses. Thank you. Okay. Councilman Wood. Um, Mr. Peters, I want to thank you for being on the traffic commission. Appreciate thank you job. for what you do. Thank you for uh, staying for the whole meeting. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. <laughs> Anything else? All right. Councilman Caccini. Well, I want to thank the city for their tree uh, uh, debris removal and the lights. They're outstanding. And I'm glad that we're all working together. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Councilman Gillen. It is the most wonderful time of the year. So I would just encourage us to something I'm going to try to do in my life the next few weeks is to be purposeful about the way that I smile at someone or wave or say hello or give a compliment. Sometimes we have to make a conscious decision to take it up a notch. So I'm going to try to do that. Encourage you guys to do the same. All right. Thank you. I'd like to remind you about a few things. Our Yukon Christmas in the Park is now through January 3rd. Don't forget we have walking trails, trail rides, and a new ice skating rink. From now until New Year's Eve, there'll be Parks and Rec will be having an annual diaper drive. The uh, Drop-off is at all rec centers. Huggies and Pampers are preferred. December 11th, Santa's Toy Shops. Please donate a new unwrapped toy at the Fire Station 1 on Main. I know this Friday uh, the Chamber is having a drop-off toy at Vaca? No. Where? I'm Garth Brooks, right next to... Uh... No, where are they having the toy drop-off this Saturday? Oh, I mean, Friday. Friday okay. is... Uh, it's by the, at the old hibbets. At the old hibbets? Okay. Shop. Okay, that's where it's actually going to be then. Please do go by, drop off. You'll get a coffee and a cookie, I think. That is at 9 o'clock on Friday. Um, then we'll also, December 17th, Senior Citizen Christmas Birthday Party. Um, I'd like to say a big shout out to Den 365. Last night they invited me to join their meeting them by Zoom. And those young men asked a lot of great questions about government and I hope to see some of them up here in a few years. Real quick uh, about Christmas lights. I please, I beg of you, uh, when you're going to see the Christmas lights, it is a wonderful display this year, but please do not block any entrances or exits to neighborhoods. Um, if we're trying to get out of our neighborhoods, we are not trying to cut in line for the Christmas lights. We just want to go to the grocery store. Okay. Also, um, if you are on Vandeman Avenue exiting the park, please do not block driveways. And if those people are trying to get out, please let them go. Again, they're not trying to go see the Christmas lights. They just want to go to the store. Um, thank you to the city crews for all the work they did working Saturdays and Sundays and Thanksgiving weekend getting our debris. Make the most of your tomorrow. Be kind to one another. This meeting is adjourned.